five, six, seven, eight. Hi guys, I'm Shen. I'm from Malaysia and I'm a second year student studying history and politics at Newnham College, Cambridge. So before this day in the life video begins, I just wanted to give like a quick disclaimer that this is not how most of my days in university are spent. Um, there's only quite a bit of stud more studying that goes into it and like this in comparison to like a typical day, um, it's definitely more relaxed, it's more chill. But it was a really fun day and I'm really excited to share it with you. So yeah, without further ado, here is the video. <laughs> So the first thing I do when I wake up is look out my window because I get the most insane views of Newnham from my window seat which is where I'll eat my breakfast which is normally a bowl of oatmeal because it's super cute and it helps you shit which is which is great I love it then I'll get ready oh I love this outfit it has major granny vibes Hello! So I've just spent my morning at the Union with Care, James and Sophie um, because I'm working on the speakers committee for the Lent term for the Cambridge Union and working on inviting speakers and we're sitting in this super nice room that I'm going to show you guys now and now I'm headed off to lunch and after that I have to go and try and finish my next essay for paper 23 that I have not started um, so Today's gonna be a busy, busy day. So I had lunch at the Kicking Squid, which just opened in town. It is slightly on the pricier side. We each paid a little over 10 pounds, but we just felt like treating ourselves to something special at the start of term. I'm having lunch with Ness and Charlotte. We all met last year during Newton's matriculation. Charlotte's my college wife and Ness has the cutest YouTube channel. So between the three of us, we got a green curry and rice, pork dumplings. This was before I became vegetarian. A Kicking Squid tapas set with no squid, which was kind of funny, and two pot ties. Overall, I would rate the ambience like 8 out of 10 because the decorations are so so gorgeous but the food 6 out of 10 because it doesn't taste as authentic but it's still good. After that, we walked around town for a bit trying to wake up from our food coma and then had a little photo shoot in front of Trinity College. Okay, I know I said earlier that I needed to do my essay, but the blue skies and warm sunshine meant that it was the perfect day to go punting. And if 2020 has taught me anything, it is that we should prioritize doing things that will make us happy. So if you're able to spend time with people you love on a beautiful sunny day safely, then do that first and worry about your work later. Sorry if my paper 23 supervisor is watching this video. So I finished, um, what's it called? Punting for my part, and now Dylan is back to punting. Honestly, Dylan today is like our MVP. Yeah. We would not probably not get that far, but I I think I did not bad for yeah, my part. What do you think? Well. Okay, and Charlotte's um Charlotte is Charlotte is paddling now, and Ness is looking I'm pretty. Vibing. Ness is vibing. Spreading <laughs> good vibes. And the ducks are still following us. Come here, Molly. It just sounds like a drunk. <laughs> Molly. No, it's like the duck in Animal Crossing, yeah, according to Charlotte. Molly. Yeah. I'm so happy we decided to come out and punt today. Yeah. So nice. We just walked past. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just walked past you and we were like, oh, we're gonna punt. <laughs> yeah, we've been out the whole day, basically. Yeah. I finished an essay this morning. You finished an so essay? Good. You had a super this morning? Yeah, yeah. one hour for any super. I'm so Perfect. proud of you. Yeah. I did I did not do any like work this morning. I'm gonna go back and do work. Um, yeah. In all seriousness, I'm so grateful to be surrounded by the kindest, most positive and genuine people. I just feel completely at home and comfortable with my friends at uni. Some of them are pictured right here in this video, but many others are not, but hopefully will be soon in upcoming ones. And speaking of gratitude, every day at Newnham still feels like a dream. At the beginning of first year, I wondered how long it would take for me to be numb to the beauty of my college because you would think that if you stared at the exact same buildings and walked in the same garden every single day, surely you would get bored. But no, halfway through uni now and I'm still a simp for Newnham. <laughs> Hello, so dinner was really good. Got a taco. Um, they got carbonara and kale mac and cheese and then now I really have to crack on with this essay because it's due on Thursday at 5 p.m. and I have not even started so like I really I really need to get it done 
ASAP. Um, and um, I spent so much time snacking on these treats, like Nat recommended them to me, they're so good. And now I'm doing laundry in the laundry room. And then after this, I'm gonna head to the library and to finally start, <laughs> start to finally start doing some work. Okay, I might be a little biased, but I think that Newnham's library easily has the prettiest architecture in all of Cambridge. See those blue and white ceilings? Each individual panel has a unique design of its own. And this library is over 100 years old, which is older than my country, Malaysia, which is insane to me. Sometimes when I'm sitting in the library doing an essay, I like to think about how I could be sitting in the exact spot that a young Jane Goodall was studying for a PhD, and the fact that the lovely people who are studying in the library the same time I am might just go on to become best-selling authors or Emmy-nominated actresses or just continue to be the lovely people that they are. And now, as you can see, I'm finally doing my work at long last. I'm happy to announce that I did manage to complete my essay and hand it in on time, but kids, if you're watching, do not try to do your work last minute because it doesn't always work out, okay? <laughs> At some point, I also played Among Us with my friends back home in Malaysia. That's me, I'm Boop. But I got voted out within the first 10 minutes because I'm so bad at being an imposter. <laughs> so this day also happened to be a self-care day. And by self-care, I just mean I slap on a face mask and I call that self-care. So I use the brand Innisfree. I use their honey mask, but I also use their pomegranate mask a lot. Um, I think that works best for my face. And does anyone else have this problem where like you just can't get the mask to fit right on your face and you just have to like fold in the outer part to just make it work uh, i also always squeeze the remaining essence or liquid onto the mask directly so i don't waste any and yeah okay that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed watching my day in the life and i hope that you have a great day in your life and <laughs> bye